Hey guys, so today I have a PSA send off video for you guys and a B it's a BCBM because I haven't made one of those for these cards either so let's call it a mix between them um, as you can see I've got some Poker Park folders in the background um, they are picking up in value um, as people are realising how rare they are um, there's only a thousand of those in the world um, I've been picking up a few folders here and there I think I've got about 10 or 15 of each at the moment um, I've sent off like 3 or 4 complete sets of each to PSA at the moment and also there's this card as well I've actually made a video of this card but um, I won't be uh, releasing it as of yet or any time soon but as you can see it's not a standard size card um, it's a bit oversized but more on that in the future as I can't <laughs> I can't re reveal what it is for now uh, but yeah let's get into the BCBM so first off we have two EV cards from the fan club um, if I remember correctly these were the 500 points um, I'll take them out the sleeve and show you I extremely love the hollow on these um, I would say this and the trophy Kangas Khan hollow is probably the best ever made as it just pops out so much they are super mint um, there is one or two hairline scratches on her so I'm not sure if they'll get the gem in 10 or be doctor grade um, same with this one super mint I think I paid 50,000 yen for it must have been a couple months ago um, they've just been on my shelf waiting to be sent off in an express order now these 17 cards are super special as these are the remaining English VS set as you saw in my previous video I actually had the tropical mega battle or tropical breeze from the these are actually from the 2002 um, tournament and not the 2001. Um, the way you figure that out is from the Mantine, as this set has the corrected Mantine. Um, but first off, we have Will's Giraffic. This is the second time I actually owned this set. Uh, the last time was, I think, roughly three or four years ago. Um, that set had a lot more damages than this one each card has a tad bit of whitening so I'm hoping for like PSA 9's all around um, but no creases no scratches or anything like that they just tad bit of whitening on this left ball done virtually all of them for some reason it's probably um, the sleeves that were used or something like that um, but yeah there's Will's giraffe rig next up we have Morty's Hypno Another thing with these, it has the Japanese um, backs to them and not the English back. Um, the reason for that is a media factory. Um, the company who prints the Japanese cards actually made all the cards for that tournament. So the 2001 Tropical Mega Battle and the 2002 Tropical Mega Battle. Here's Bruno's Hitmonchan. It's 
in there. If I remember correctly, only um, I would like to say six um, sets in each year were given out, so a total of twelve. Um, total of twelve English sets exist. Um, this Chuck's done fan, so it's really rare. Um, or it might have been 12 per year, so 24 sets in total. Either way, you don't see these often. Um, the last time I had this set, I actually had to um, split this set. Um, just the way um, I, I got the set. I basically got screwed over in the deal. Um, because I was told they were meant... Um, and I had a deal in process with someone else but that fell through due to the condition of it and the guy who got them off I traded a lot of rare cards and a good chunk of money um, I was able to get the money back um, through the bank um, but the money I lost through the trade because I lost out on a tropical mega battle number three and a few other cards if I remember correctly and at the point I was like I'd rather have my cards back but the guy wasn't having any of it so I basically lost out and I just wanted to get rid of the set and just start afresh at that point here we have Janine's bead drill but this time round um, won't be splitting the set that's for sure the market is a lot different as well from back then as a lot of the cards went under value because um, I sold them at auction um, as I, I was at university at that point and I just couldn't afford waiting out um, so I just basically sold everything at auction just to recoup whatever I could. Um, Prices Cloister. This is the only card from the set that is an Arita artwork who is my favourite um, illustrator. This one does have a, a bit of a chunk of a white in there. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. Got Tight there on the corner. Here's the Claire's Mantine. Uh, the way you know um, what year these came from is basically from this, as the 2001 actually had an error where the resistance was a psychic energy whereas it should have been a fighting energy so this was unknown until I think DJ Gigabyte saw D Persin set as I think Steve P from Poker Gym was the only one who posted his full set online and we didn't see another set for years until Dan saw um, the person set and noticed um, the correction of it so it was known that it was corrected in the following year of the print here's the back of it just before I go forward here's Faulkner's Ferro gonna cost me quite a bit to send these off to PSL as I'm using the five day service on them I think the bills coming out to I think just under a thousand dollars Um here's witness for it I think my last copy got gem in 10 of this one I 
think if I remember correctly the price is cloister from my last set recently sold on eBay for like two thousand five hundred dollars or something crazy like that. Um here's Jasmine's Raichu. Probably the rarest English Raichu that's an official card. That's uh, the only other one would be like a pre release Raichu, but there's still debate going on if it's a a real card or not. And the final Pokemon of the set is Karen's Rapidash. Same again, this um I think I gem in ten the last time round. This one unfortunately has some white in there, so doubt it'll get ten. Or should be a PSA nine at least. And the final four cards of the set are a Super Scoop Up, Potion, Energy Arc and a Switch. All of these are also in PSA 9 condition. Um, just some whitening so I was super surprised as I would have presumed the trainer cards would have been damaged at least but super happy with those but yeah guys um i'll be sending these off probably tomorrow so probably in a few weeks i should have some psa returns uh but yeah um hopefully you enjoyed this video and seeing these nice cards and as always thanks for watching